ears. Buy it off. Hey, hey, hey. I am the man who can just look at the woman and she gets pregnant. Where did you train from? It's the new issues of the generals to the generals. You want another rap? Yeah, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> Waste East, home is best, and a member of parliament for Upe County in Amdak District, Honorable Rem Akaside, is back to his roots. Pure of a Karamojong indeed. One would wonder what he's being initiated into. All the elders around him. Ah, uh, Honorable Rem, what is this that you're going through, man? Traditionally for me, as being a member of parliament, I also, also, also wanted to be initiated and join the rest of the community traditionally. All right. But as your tribesmen initiate you into manhood, your colleagues in parliament are locked up here in the NRM caucus reportedly trying to absorb the Governor Bank of Uganda, Emmanuel Mtevire. But let's find out from General Kahinda Otafire. Good evening, General. How are you? I am fine, General. A moment, please. So what's your problem? You know, I have no problem, but I just want to find out what transpired in NRM caucus about Mutebide. No, are you members of the caucus? No. Yeah. Was the caucus uh, by invitation? Yes. Why do you want me to talk about caucus when you're not members? I am a journalist, sir, and I am entitled to know. Those were party issues, and you are not members of the party, you are journalists. Those were party issues. If you want to know what happened in the transpired in the caucus, talk to the chairman of the caucus. <laughs> He has escaped into a lift. But Jeno, I assure you, I will follow you. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> I want to know what the NRM caucus decided on Mutevire. You just bothered me. Let me ask the chairman of the caucus, the president. Let me ask the MPs. Uh-huh. Honorable Sereko, I hear your NRM party caucus wants to absolve Mutevire. Makubuya, Bumba have gone. We didn't call a caucus to serve them. And we are not interested in this. Why? Because what they did was personal responsibility. Therefore, even Mutebide must go. Professor Mutebide, members of parliament are on your case. You have to answer why you dished out 142 billion shillings to Vasai Jabalaba. The markets should not worry about the rumblings in parliament. Honorable Chamadidi, according to the Governor Bank of Uganda, you are rumbling and rumbling. You mean he is still around? He should have resigned. I thought he had gone with Makubuya and Bumba. Mm. If he's still there, then he's there illegally. He's a squatter. Where? In our bank of Uganda. Professor, the rumbling is still here. Are you a squatter in bank of Uganda? There is nothing that will take me out of this seat except maybe God. And if God does not call you soon, Professor, doesn't the Constitution give President Yoweri seven powers to sack you? And even that, the Constitution gives him only three reasons for giving rid of me. First reason? The first one is insanity and of course... <laughs> Honorable Chamadidi, haven't you heard for yourself? I, I am told that guy drinks a lot of whiskey. And I am told to, 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 to a tune of one million or even more. Are you sure he does that? In the events that he can't do that, maybe he's under the influence of something. Have you heard, Professor? As you can see, I'm not insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, Honorable Chamadid, are you the one who gives him whisk? I am not a bad attendant, but that's what I am told. If it is not true, then he should come out and say... No, what no, 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 Honorable. Can you withdraw your words? And unless he comes out to say he's saved... I agree with you, Professor Mutevire. There is rumbling in Parliament, from their roles to other people's roles. I also got amazed when Honorable Simon Mulongo rumbled on my job. Welcome to NTV this afternoon. Um, we have the Honorable Member of Parliament for Bogisho District, and she's going to tell us, since she came into Parliament, it's just coming to one year now, what can you say are your biggest achievements so far? But I am not an MP. Can you ask your fellow politicians? Honorable Chabrot, is it true that um, your ministry, together with the Committee of Parliament, is undermining the operationalization of the Kampala City 
authority bus service system? Uh, that is your imagination. It's not true. You see? Isn't that rumbling? Honorable, may I get my microphone back, please? Finally, is it true that you're being used as a minister together the committee to fight internal wars within the... Last question, please, Honorable Simon Mulongo. Is it true that you are being used by other interested parties to fight personal and corporate wars between KCC and those other parties as government and as parliament? Can I also pose it to you? Is it true that the press is using you to ask me those questions? <laughs> Agnes Nandu too. Point blank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.